Hey guys, this video is part two of a lesson that's all about factoring polynomials, uh, sometimes with even degree four. And we're going to factor them and find all the zeros, or roots we call them if it's an equation. Okay, let's start by uh, finding one zero off of the uh, TI 30 excess multiview. So let's take this function and type it into the table feature of our calculator. Okay, so here I've typed the equation into my calculator um, under the table feature. Uh-oh, I've just erased it by accident. Okay, that was silly. Um, yeah, so I'm typing the equation in my calculator. So 3x to the third power minus 16x squared minus 10x minus 12. Okay, I always like to start at negative 10 because it rarely goes past negative 10. And I just can then scroll down looking for a zero on the y side. Okay, and there I found one at six. There's one at six. So let's go ahead and use that and see what happens. So if I'm using this zero that I found at six, and I'm going to do synthetic division. So three, negative 16, negative 10, negative 12. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down. So that's three. Um, three times six is 18. Add these up, you get two. 2 times 6 is 12. Add those up, that's another 2. 2 times 6 is 12 again. And of course, that makes 0. We knew that would happen. So, so far, this is what we have. Um, from the uh, 0 of 6, we know there will, will be a factor of x minus 6. Um, now, if I put the variables back in here, you know, there's an x here, there's x squared here. That gives me 3x squared plus 2x plus 2. Now, in the last problem, uh, this was not factorable. So let's see if this one is factorable or not. So I'm going to try to factor it. So 3x squared will only factor as 3x and x. 2 can only factor as 2 times 1. Now, it matters whether I put 2, 1, or 1, 2. I'll try it both ways. Um, but either way, the inner plus the outer has to give me the middle. Right now, inner, I have 2x. And outer, I have 3x. There's no way I'm going to get a 2 out of that. So this is not working for me. <clears throat> OK, that's going to bother me. OK, so I'll try switching them around. So if I put the 1 here and the 2 here. Um, inner, I have 1x. Outer, I have 6x. All right, again, there's no way I'm going to get a 2 out of this. That means that this is not factorable. Okay, so once again, I'm going to have to use either the quadratic formula or completing the square. Now, um, actually, completing the square is a little trickier when there's a, a coefficient here in the front. It's not impossible, but uh, probably doing the quadratic formula is our best bet. But um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and write this down. Uh, this is completely factored, so I'm just going to cut and paste this for the sake of efficiency. Okay, so there we go. Don't need that. Um, so there, that is now completely factored. But if, uh, I, if I want the other zero, the other zeros other than six, I'm going to have to set this equal to zero and solve. Now, remember, the quadratic formula says, um, what does it say? It says x equals opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And the song goes opposite of b, opposite of b, plus or minus square root, plus or minus square root, b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, all over 2a. 
Stop laughing. It'll help you remember. So we're going to use this, okay? Keeping in mind that when we look at this uh, trinomial, um, keep in mind what A, B, and C are, okay? Um, A is 3, and B is 2, and C is also 2. So if I want to do opposite of B, um, the, well, B is 2, so the opposite of B is negative 2. Okay, actually, freeze. Um, I just remembered, I like to do the B squared minus 4AC part separately. Okay, so let's focus on that, B squared minus 4AC. By the way, this part of the quadratic formula is called the discriminant. All right, this is called the discriminant. I like to find the discriminant first. So b is 2. So I'm doing 2 squared minus 4. a is 3. All right, it's a little crowded. OK, 4 times 3. Uh, and then c is 2. So b squared minus 4ac is negative 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2. Okay, um, I'm sure you could do this by hand, but um, a lot of times you guys will mess up. I mean, mess up. So, 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2. So, 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2. Kabam! Negative 20 is the discriminant. And I highly recommend uh, doing this separately like I just did. So now I will go back to my quadratic formula. OK, and opposite of b, like I said, this will become negative 2 uh, plus or minus the square root. And now we've got this negative 20, OK, because that's the, the b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Well, a is 3, so 2a. Uh, is 6. So we just got to simplify this. Now, uh, when you see that negative sign under the radical, you know what that is. Uh, that's going to be i. So this is going to be plus or minus i radical 20 over 6. Okay, you got to bring that out. All right, now let's go ahead and do the square root of 20. Okay, that is 2 radical 5. So we have negative 2 plus or minus 2 radical 5 over 6. That i goes right here in the middle, 2i radical 5. Okay, now watch this. Here's what I like to do. Okay, um, I like to draw a heart around these three numbers when they share so much in common. Okay, they're like a family. Negative 2, 2, and 2. There's a GCF here. They are all divisible by 3. Uh, I'm sorry, they're all divisible by 2. All right? It has to be all 3. You can't just reduce two of them and not the third. That's why I draw the heart to remind me that it has to be all 3. Okay, now, if you, um, if there is a GCF and you divide all three, what will we get? Uh, okay, I'm saying three and I'm writing three. I'm dividing by two. Two. Okay, if I divide everything by two, what will I get? Um, well, two divided by two is one. So I'm going to get negative one plus or minus. Again, two divided by two is one. But in this case, I don't need to write the one. Okay, so I'll just have i radical 5. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that's it. Okay, that's as far as we can go with this thing. Now I'm going to write it separately as uh, negative 1 plus i radical 5 over 3. Okay, that's one of my zeros. And then I've got uh, negative 1 minus 
i radical 5 over 3. Okay, so it looks ugly, but come on, it, it wasn't that bad, guys. You, you, you can do this. I believe in you. All right, so that's how we would do number three. So if it doesn't, if you have a trinomial and it's not factoring, um, you can use the quadratic formula. All right, let's see if I can get in one more problem into this video before it gets too long. Okay, this is an equation, all right, instead of a, the last one was in the form of a function. But we'll treat it the same way. Uh, we just have the one additional step of we need to, that's not a 12. We need to subtract 2 from both sides before we begin. Okay, so this is going to be uh, 3x to the third power minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals zero. Okay, um, so, aw shucks. I'm seeing some grouping right now, you guys. Um, so, you know, we could go to the calculator and all that, but um, do you see the pattern? Three, two, three, two. This um, is definitely a, a perfect candidate for grouping. So let's just go ahead and group, man. That's what I would want you to do. So um, check it out. So these two can go together and these two go together. Um, the common factor here, the greatest common factor, is x squared. So I'll pull that out. Okay, and then that's going to leave behind x. No. That's going to leave behind 3x minus Two. Now over here there is no GCF, okay? So um, when there is no GCF, you know, um, so I'm, I, I'm just going to write down the 3x minus 2 that's already there. But you can look at it, if you want to, and I do, you can look at it as plus 1, okay? Um, because think about it, if I distributed a 1, it would still just give me the same thing back. Um, but we need that one there, sort of as a placeholder. Uh, because the, our next move is going to be to take this 3x minus 2 and factor it out, pull it out front. So there will be my 3x minus 2. And that's going to leave behind um, x squared plus 1. So, grouping, you guys. Um, now, x squared plus 1 is not factorable. This is the sum of two squares, not the difference of two squares. So this is unfactorable. And uh, so that means this is completely factored. Okay, so I'm just going to cut and paste this. Copy and paste it. And go ahead and record it uh, as our completely factored form right now. Okay, so that is factored. Now we just need to get the roots out of this. Okay, the roots are will be if we set the 3x minus 2 equal to 0, adding 2 to both sides gives us 3x equals 2. Okay, uh, dividing by 3 on both sides gives us x equals two-thirds. Okay, so we have two-thirds. And of course, if I um, set x squared plus one equal to zero, uh, here I'd need to subtract one from both sides, so that's going to give me x squared equals negative one. If I then take the square root of both sides, okay, all right, don't forget your plus or minus. Um, the square root of negative 1 is just 